Hello, Internet. This is Ben with a long overdue Mysterious Space update. Um, the code was in a state for for a few days, several days, where it wasn't compiling because I was making a lot of crazy changes. Um, I don't have anything to announce, unfortunately, about the Steam release, but I'm hoping to make some calls tomorrow and like get some more stuff moving. Um, and again, I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date. Partly, I've just been busy at work. We've been asked to work overtime, and and then I, I get done, and I just want to play video games. I don't even think about Mysterious Space. So, so real life has been kind of slowing me down in that regard. Uh, but, again, I mean, you know, it's not completely stopped, and obviously I've found the time to make some rather large changes to Mysterious Space, so let, let's get into it. Um, this is going to require me to... Uh, do some things. So there's a couple, there's so many new things. Let's just, good, this is exactly what I wanted, and I'm gonna do some like super cheesy stuff. Okay, there's a whole new class of item, uh, and these are uh, to parallel. So in in, a, in the classic roguelikes, in traditional roguelikes, you have potions, which alien artifacts in this game uh, represent, and then you had scrolls, and they would have silly, weird, random names, as you can see these ones do. They're called bizarre things with, with a alien, weird alien characters that I, that I created, and you can see the like 8 and H appear, but it was just, I don't know, they were natural shapes to create, so I went with it. Um, anyway, so these are, are the scrolls, and I copied, or, or borrowed, or, or whatever you want to say, some of the important uh, kind of decision-y effects of scrolls from traditional roguelikes, and those surround uh, what in a traditional roguelike would be called blessing or cursing an item. So I happen to know when when you do this cheat, the way it arranges them, this one is uh, it blesses a random uh, equipped equipment. So I have now received a blessing on my harder, stronger vertical destroyer B or whatever. Again, the font is not, I mean, you can see it's practically bleeding out. But anyway, so the blessed effect, which which I'm calling here stasis. So there's a was it I think stasis and and. Uh, Entropy. So an, enter, an, an entropic effect is a curse, and then a static effect is a is a uh, blessing. I just had to make up some crazy words. The idea, though, was you know stability versus uh, a chaotic system. Um, I, I just I wanted to pick some slightly funky words, just because you know it's supposed to be a sci-fi setting. It's I mean it would be so easy to change that stuff if I come up with a better idea in the future. I will. Um, I just needed some language in here. But anyway, it shows up in blue. If it's a good effect, if it was a bad effect, it would be in red. Uh, there are additional effects. Another big thing in traditional roguelikes is weapons or, or other equipments becoming uh, damaged, or, or uh, I didn't want to use the word damaged uh, here because so many things say that they deal damage. Uh, so I'm calling it weakened, but basically it's, you know, you pick up like a suit of chainmail or whatever in a roguelike, but it's, it's a, uh, I don't know, they probably do call it damaged or worn or something, but it has weaker effects because you have found one that isn't in a, a, a bad state. Or I, I don't know how you want to describe it. So here I'm calling it weakened, and um, you can pick up some equipments now that are weakened, and there are also uh, items, these guys, that will unweaken or strengthen a weakened equipment. I I don't know what I want to do about this, so in the interest of not having to create a bunch of new uh, user interface menus and, and things, uh, all these things apply randomly, So, which forces you to do some stupid gimmicky things. So for example, a thing that blesses a, uh, or sorry, uh, statifies, a status, I don't know, you want to say stat, staticifies? I don't know. Any, I'm just going to say blesses to use the, again, the traditional roguelike vocabulary. So the scroll in this game that, that blesses an item, blesses a random item from your equipment. So, again, because I didn't want to have to deal with making a, a menu, but that kind of removes... What it means is that you come in here, which is what I did, and unequip everything else, which is really stupid. I mean, if the game is making you do that, that is bad. So I'm clearly going to have to make that UI at some point. Um, it's just going to be interesting because when you when you use any scroll, and th this is like the struggle of traditional roguelikes as well, is that they don't want you to know what a scroll does when you use it and then, and then be able to cancel out. So, you know, you'd use a scroll and it goes, oh, pick an item. And then in your mind, you're like, oh, it's going to affect an item. And so sometimes roguelikes will say, you know, pick any target. And it's like, do you pick yourself? 
do you pick an, a weapon and so maybe it was maybe it was like it hastes you but because you picked a weapon instead of yourself do you, do you see what I mean like they really try really hard to hide the effects and it's kind of too bad that I mean I understand why they have to but it, it it's it's a problem right there, there there is not a fantastic solution there are some better and some worse solutions I think the solution I've done right now where it's random is one of the worst solutions um, like the only reason that it would, because because again, what it means is you come in here and you and you unequip the things that you don't want affected. Uh, once you know uh, what these do, um, I, I, it's probably sounding a little messy to me, just like rambling off these words. But anyway, so I wanted to show off. Many of the blessings are kind of boring. There are things like. Um, you know, oh, this weapon, now it makes you move a little faster as well, or this shield, and some of them are interesting, like one of the shields is like when the shield is depleted, you know, maybe it'll do something else, or or while it, while the whole repair bots are full, uh, if it's blessed, then they'll also repair your armor. Yeah, they're, they're specific to the equipment because I wanted to make the curses kind of appropriate to the equipment and actually matter, so let's go ahead and, you know, let's just try and equip something else. Let's remove this. For now, and let's equip, sure, a soft shield, and let's see what happens. Well, I don't remember off the top of my head because I had to code all these. Let's see what happens when I curse it. The entropy of an item. When you receive collision damage, your sensors are scrambled for five seconds. Okay, so this the soft shield does not protect from collision damage. So when I made the curse, I again I wanted to make it kind of flavorful with the item, so it's made it even weaker against collision damage, um, and in a specific way, it's, it scrambles your sensors. So. I've gone ahead and, and coded very specific curses and blessings for every piece of equipment that there, that there is in the game. So that's why the game was you know, that combined with the fact that I it has been busy at work. Um, it took me a while to code all these, and the game just would not run because I had all these uh, abstract methods that needed to be implemented in child classes programming jargon. Don't worry about it. Um, but let's go ahead and equip this guy because. So this is kind of a passive thing, right? This What does this mean? A helpful AI appears each time you... What does that mean? Let's find out. And also, let's not wear that cursed thing. Um, sure, a tiny shield. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So this is what happens. You get this... It is different, I don't know if you remember what the AIs look like in the game, but the, the AI uh, computer lady that, that talks to you... I say lady, who knows, but you know, it looks different. So this is a weird AI that exists in your weapon now. And it only happens on the vertical blasters, I don't know why. I had a lot of trouble thinking up, um, I don't know, thinking up good blessings and curses that weren't more just, oh, you know, increases your fire rate. Yeah, I, I wanted it to be interesting and unique for, for all the different things. So this is particularly weird, so I get to choose. There's now like an AI apparently inhabiting my, my uh, my weapon, a weird new AI, who I can, he gives me a bonus, Let's, sure, create for me an alien artifact, I got a blue one, is that good or bad, I don't know, it's probably a dangerous thing to, well, let's find out, let's just find out, my speed is increased, yay, it's like haste, but for shorter, so, that's, now that I think of it, it's probably not going to be, oh yeah, it's a vertical weapon, <laughs> which, are, they're so bad, um, I don't know, so that's what, I, that's basically what I had to show off, uh, the other thing actually is weapons getting damaged, so, I mentioned that weapons can become damaged, so my harder, stronger vertical blaster, did it say it was destroyed? It was damaged, okay. So when you become disabled, when you lose all of your whole health and everything and you, and you go into that disabled state and you're trying to revive and hopefully not shot to death, again, it helps in co-op to have someone protect you, um, but every time that happens, a random piece of equipment becomes damaged. And if a damage, or sorry, I should say weakened, a random piece of equipment becomes weakened. And if it randomly selects an already weakened equipment, it is completely destroyed. So that is also another whole new mechanic that I coded, this weakened state, um, which again, I was talking about, sometimes you'll pick up items and they just come weakened. Uh, the weakened things also are specific to the type of item. Uh, I was able to generalize a lot, so I didn't make these as specific. So for example, all weapons when weakened have a, a, a halved fire rate. Uh, all shields, I think, regenerate more slowly, all armors have uh, half the armor strength, and then the accessories are where I had to get specific, but that was, you know, that was a much smaller list of, of things I had to write custom code for than, than all items. We can also see some ugly text overlapping here. Now that all this text is being added to items, I'm probably going to have to make this window taller or something. There's still work to be done, clearly, but items become weakened, so there's now a new penalty 
for becoming disabled, uh, which I'm a little happy about because I felt like when I added that disabled mechanic, um, it, the game became easier because it used to be that you just died straight up. You know, if you took enough damage, your hole was out, you're just dead. Now you become disabled, and oftentimes that means you keep playing. So I'm glad that there is now um, this disadvantage. And yeah, my weapon is. I don't know if you remember how fast it was shooting before. I do. This is much slower, <laughs> so that's working, which is awesome. I have not even tested all these also, uh, so I'm definitely going to have to go through and do that. Um, gosh, and I don't even know what else to say. Yeah, good, I can't equip those. I was worried that let me go in here. But you're not allowed to change equipment mid-level. Um, is there anything else to say? I believe I've covered everything. Curses and blessings, or apparently chaos and whatever. Um... I also made, so equipment is now a little less common to pick up, uh, and I did that again in the interest of making things a little difficult and making some of the choices surrounding these, because most of these effects are good, and, and you're now finding some of these. Some of them are, of course, bad. What does this do? Grants a ship upgrade. Well, good. I've got another upgrade point. So there, there are lots of good effects in here. There are some bad ones. There's one that, you know, that, that curses an item. I believe there's one that weakens. Uh, there's one that strengthens. So, so we've got all that kind of stuff. Um, but I wanted the choice when, when you get, for example, now that I know, I mean, suppose I pick up another one of these uh, scrolls that uh, blesses an equipment. I want that choice that exists in the classic roguelikes of, do I bless this weapon now? and get an immediate benefit, or do I save it for an even better weapon? Because especially in the early in the game, you might be like, well, this weapon that I have isn't that great, I'd be wasting the Blessing Scroll on it, so, so it gives you that choice, but in Mysterious Space as it has been in the past, you just pick up so many weapons that that's not even a choice. Um, I, I don't know, I feel like it, it changes it a lot, it doesn't matter as much that items have become weakened, so I'm adding a little more of that danger of, of the traditional roguelikes, I'm trying to put a little more of that in. Um, I mean, this did start as a seven-day roguelike. It is obviously very different. It was probably not fair to call it a roguelike. I'm sure many people would prefer that I refer to it as a roguelite or, or roguelike-like, and that's fair. It is very. It is not very roguelike. Um, but I'm going back to that a little bit and adding some of the, the roguelike elements in there, some of the more traditional roguelike elements, to hopefully add those same sort of interesting decisions and, and difficult, you know, difficult situations that the traditional roguelikes give you. So I don't want to spoil what all these things do, um, you know, discover them on your own. Uh, th these things have not changed. Uh, yeah, I think that covers everything. So thanks, as always, for watching and, and playing and, and everything else. Uh, don't, I don't, what was I going to say? I don't even know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. It's quite late here. I need to go to bed. My brain is not working as well as it should. And I will keep you posted as usual. Oh, uh, when might this be released? That is a good question. I need to do a bunch of testing. Uh, the first half of this week at work is still going to be quite busy. So let's say late late this week or possibly this weekend, I will hopefully have a new version of, of Mysterious Space. Um, yeah, it's kind of significant. I don't know. In some ways, I feel like not a lot has been done, but on the other hand, a lot has been done. So, I don't know. I mean, it's going to change the gameplay a lot for sure. Uh, harder, easier, I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry for keeping you. Uh, I'm keeping myself from bed as well. Good night, good night. Thank you for playing. Goodbye. <laughs>